questions that practicing neonatologists have is whether a baby who is a term baby with respiratory distress has transient tachypnea of newborn or whether the baby has congenital pneumonia. So where there is a setting of infection or there is a risk of aspiration, the, the distinction may be easier. But where the risk of infection is not clear cut, the baby has increasing respiratory distress needing non-invasive support and uh, the x-ray picture is not specific. I mean, ob obviously we have some features which are specific for transient tachypnea of newborn like hyperinflated lung fields, streakiness, uh, fluid in the fissure and so on. Uh, but we know that the x-ray picture can evolve and even if these typical features are there on the x-ray, if the baby continues to person and you repeat the x-ray, you may find features suggest pneumonia. So you can't be clear cut in the beginning and that's why most of these babies with symptoms continue to develop, uh, continue to get antibiotics. At least still we are clear with the 24 hour CRP and the blood culture that there is no infection. Uh, the main thing is that this distinction doesn't really change your management because approach to a baby with respiratory distress is the same whether you diagnose pneumonia or TTN. If the baby needs pressure, we support with non-invasive support. We monitor the gases, we monitor the saturation, titrate the oxygen accordingly, the feeding uh, and the IV fluid plan as well as the need for antibiotics is decided by the symptoms on the baby. The subsequent course as well as the parameters, the blood parameters that we monitor, the C-reactive protein as well as the blood culture reports will guide us subsequently. We don't routinely need repeat x-rays to differentiate because again it's not going to be definitive. Uh, we can do an x-ray if the baby is not improving clinically. Uh, there are most babies with TTN who would improve by two to three days time uh, but the babies with pneumonia may take a little longer especially if there is an aspiration component. So the main point I want to convey to you is that it doesn't matter what your diagnosis is. Treat with the clinical uh, symptomatology of the baby, support the baby as needed. Continue to monitor the progress and that will make your uh, diagnosis clearer. Of course, from the insurance point of view, it becomes more important if you are following insurance system as well. So be clear with your plan, with the documentation. Uh, document your investigations clearly as well so uh, the insurance team and the review it would be having a clear idea of what you're thinking and how the progress has worked out. I hope this helps. Thank you.